Our door is atrocious. Hundreds of onions at scale. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Almost fainted trying to harvest a puffer pod the other day. Those spores certainly make you dizzy. I did tell you not to put too much dragon manure on your screech snap seedlings. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Hippogriffs like knot grass. Oh. 
I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Now remember, a wand is not a trowel. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honour. Uh, no offence. Sorry. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, 
Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Revelia. Look at that! I'll try on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I think mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Make anything grow. We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Oh. 
all of my siblings to finish at Hogwarts. Nice to be here on my own for once. It's tradition in my family to play a game of Quidditch on the moor during the holiday. And have you seen how these professors do with your clothes? Black looks at me like I'm a moor. Congratulations! Lucan told me the good news. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. I saw an aura badge on Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need.
fine job brewing your first Wiccan Wild potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan World Potion. Oh! You're the new student! I've heard much about you! Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigan World Potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwoopa Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations organized and Fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! 
Now, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black.
enjoy having them. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. for the ages. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Come on, Leander. Oh. Didn't think you were a match for me. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander, there's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practising and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed.
Well, that's very kind of you. I know I'm a bit of a lost cause on a broom. You probably just haven't found the right broom yet. You're very kind, both of you. Really, though, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure Kagawa would spend extra time with you. Yes, she can sound quite stern sometimes, but she's actually got a good heart when it comes to flying. Well, I can't say no to you then, can I? There's just one problem. What's that? Who said you were any good at flying? A girl in our dormitory. Rebellion. Incendio. Incendio!
Beatrice Green from Dogreed and Death Gap is an odd woman. Caught her talking to her plants the other day, having a full conversation she was. It's quite interesting, actually. I enjoy my weekly visits to Dogweed and Death. I find I'm more comfortable around plants. Are you all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. If only. Get away! All of you! Are they from the restricted section? No, and none of your business. There you are, sneaking past me! I know. And taking dangerous books! They are from the restricted section. Yes, I mean, shut up! Enough! Here, perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. What, me? Use a broom, not to fly. That is what I said, and let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off limits. <laughs> Ugh, feel like a muggle. I got a look at one of them. Saw something about the Cruciatus curse. I did. Reading oh, can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? My aunt says I should get to Hogsmeade as often as I can. Lumos. Rebellion. Excellent. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? 
Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So. The reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness, it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Revelio. This looks like the right statue. Now what was the password? Revelio.
Incendium. Lumos. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Repairer. That seems to have done the trick. Revelia. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Incendio! I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Revelio! I'm going to have to get past this. Let 
Getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Levioso. Aha, got it. This must be the way out. Revelio. <gasps> hmm, I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Revelio. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Rebellion. Incendio!
Revelio. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywig stings. You got them! Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I've brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Rebellion. 